In this video, we'll be learning how to divide polynomial functions by simple linear functions. This is known as synthetic division. Now, let's say we're given a polynomial function, which we'll call f of x, and we wish to divide it by another function, say g of x equals to x minus c. Well, this is exactly what synthetic division will allow us to do. It allows us to divide a polynomial function by a simple linear function looking like g of x equals to x minus c. Now when we do this, the result will always look like follows. A polynomial function divided by a simple linear function equals to some quotient function, which we call q of x, plus any remainder, r, over x minus c. Now it's worth pointing out, in fact it's important to point out, that the q of x, the quotient function, is a polynomial. And its degree is one less than the degree of f of x. r is known as the remainder. And in this case, when we divide by a linear function, the remainder will be a constant. A constant. Now, the way we actually do this is by using, by using the nested scheme, also known as Horner's method for evaluating polynomials. And we'll do this in order to write this result and in the same way that we can see here, as well as in the following way. f of x equals to x minus c times the quotient function plus the remainder. Now, both of these are saying the same thing, or more or less the same thing, and we can quite easily see that we can get from one to the next just by rearranging, by dividing both sides of the equation by x minus c. Now, enough talking, let's get started. Let's say we have to divide the following. f of x equals to 4x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 by the linear function x minus 2. Well, to do this, the first thing we do is solve x minus 2 equals to 0. And of course, we quickly find that x equals to 2. Now that we've done that, we're going to use the nested scheme in order to evaluate this polynomial f of x when x equals to 2. So we do that here, make a little table. Looking at the coefficients of f, we have 4, 3, negative 2, and 5, and we're evaluating this when x equals to 2. So we carry down the 4, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11, 2 times 11 is 22, plus negative 2 is 20, 2 times 20 is 40, plus 5 is 45. And now, here's what's convenient. The first three digits we see here are in fact the coefficients of the quotient function q of x. The last digit we see here, or the last number, 45, is the remainder. Now remember, f of x here was a cubic function, and since we're dividing it by a linear function, the degree of q of x will be 2, a quadratic. In other words, 1 less than f of x. So this 4, 11, and 20 are the coefficients of a quadratic function. And using all of this, as well as the results we saw previously, in particular the one I'm boxing now, we can go ahead and write f of x equals to x minus 2, which is what we divided our function by, or what we wish to divide it by, times 4x squared plus 11x plus 20, plus the remainder 45. And we can of course rearrange this to write the actual division. Dividing both sides of this by x minus 2, we find the result. f of x over x minus 2 equals to 4x squared plus 11x plus 20 
plus the remainder 45 over x minus 2. And there we go. That's how we perform synthetic division of polynomials. Now let's look at one more example. Let's say, for instance, we had to divide the following. f of x equals to x to the power of 4 minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 by x plus 3. Well again we'd start by solving the following x plus 3 equals to 0 which leads us to x equals to negative 3. And we now use the nested scheme to evaluate our polynomial function at the value negative 3. And we do this here. We make our table and we now focus on the coefficients. So we have a quartic polynomial. The coefficients are 1, 0, negative 2, 3 and 1 and we're evaluating it at negative 3. So we carry down the 1. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. Negative 2 plus 9 is 7. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Plus 3 is negative 18. And negative 3 times negative 18 gives us 54. And 1 plus 54 is 55. And in this case, f of x was a quartic. In other words, its degree was 4. We're dividing it by a linear function of degree 1. So the, the quotient function, q of x, will be of degree 3. In other words, a cubic. And the coefficients of the cubic polynomial, the quotient, are right here. 1, negative 3, 7, and negative 18. And the remainder is 55. So using these results, we can go ahead and write f of x equals to, we were considering x plus 3, so it's x plus 3 times the cubic x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 18 plus the remainder 55. We can of course rearrange this result to write the value of the division and that's f of x divided by x plus 3 equals to x cubed minus 3x squared plus 7x minus 18 plus the remainder 55 over x plus 3. And there you go. That's how you perform synthetic division of polynomials.